person uh, mistakenly they uh, do that work without completely cutting off the power. That's it's a mistake, serious mistake. And so at the time uh, when the sun, uh, when especially at the uh, sunrise, the time of sunrise, so we investigated this issue very, very carefully. It is natural that we expect that uh, with the meteorology system, the, the point, absolute pointing uh, would be improved, which were taken uh, with activating the meteorology system. So even though the, the sky was uh, reasonably good, like uh, you can, and where you can achieve like 1.4, 1.5 arc second in the absolute pointing around sunset, uh, sunrise time, we still got a good number with activating the meteorology system. Thanks to the team for uh, uh, conditional acceptance of the first ALMA antenna. Well, Yes, good, good, we need we, to we the same. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, I know. We just finished uh, the meeting where a team of experts, technical experts, uh, reviewed the material of the test of the Melko antenna. And their conclusion was that they uh, advised the director of ALMA to accept the antenna. So this was a very important moment to get the advice and I, of course I accepted the antenna and this is the first antenna for Alma, the first eye that will look into the sky. My name is Ryusuke Ogasawara, representative of National Astronomical Observatory of Japan in Chile. Uh, Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu y feliz año nuevo 2009. A happy new year. Today, it's a very, very uh, happy day for all ALMA people because the antenna behind is now lifted up with the antenna transporter which antenna has been accepted by ALMA last year as the first antenna of the whole ALMA project. Antenna is produced by Mitsubishi Electric Corporation Limited in Japan under the contract with the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Today is the very first movement of this ALMA first antenna to the actual working site which is called OSF uh, technical facility area to be equipped with the uh, whole uh, receivers and other instrumentations. This antenna will be uh, adjusted and tested another several months and uh, to be brought up to the high site 5,000 meters the uh, end of this year to start actual ALMA activity at the uh, Chanantol, uh, Chanantol High A <laughs> location. Uh, sorry for that. And uh, uh, as a member of ALMA, as well as a member of ALMA Jap Japan, NAOJ, I am very glad to uh, speak this message to celebrate the first movement of the ALMA antenna to this day of uh, January 8th, 2009, in the uh, operation support facility of ALMA, 3,000 meters here. Eso es su lugar.
because the, when it's connected, mm -hmm. transport uh, member is some Italo. Yeah. That information is transferred to the uh, antenna ACU site. Oh, no. フロントエンドのパワーオフのためにジョーとジーンのチームが上がりました。
Thank <laughs> you.